watching News Channel 9 at 5.30. Good evening, I'm Christy Casciano. Jeff is off tonight. All five passengers aboard that missing submersible in the North Atlantic Ocean believed to be dead after a debris field was discovered on the seafloor near the Titanic shipwreck. ABC's Justin Finch has this new information tonight from Washington. The U.S. Coast Guard, which has been leading the international effort to find the missing submersible and its five-person crew, describing the disturbing discovery after days of searching. An ROV, a remote-operated vehicle, from the vessel Horizon Arctic, discovered the tail cone of the Titan submersible. A Canadian remotely operated vehicle spotting a debris field more than two miles down in the pitch black and frigid waters near the Titanic wreckage site. The debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. On board, billionaire Hamish Harding, businessman Shazada Dawood and his 19-year-old son Suleiman Stockton Rush, the CEO of OceanGate, the deep water tourism company that made the submersible, and Titanic researcher and diver P.H. Nargiolet. Upon this determination, we immediately notified the families. Ocean explorer Bob Ballard, who discovered the Titanic shipwreck, says the crew likely tried to save themselves. If you have a deep submersible, buoyancy is your friend. All you have to do when you're in trouble is get light, and you go home. And I'm sure they were attempting to get light and go home, but the hull itself imploded. Ocean Gate releasing a statement saying that we grieve the loss of life and that they are deeply grateful to those who took part in the effort to find the Titan crew. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. More on the tragedy coming up on ABC World News tonight with David Muir at 6.30.